the reason why I felt that I had to make it was that I looked around at all the languages that were being made, and I felt like none of them addressed what I needed, right? Which I felt was really something that a lot of people needed, which is just a solution to their actual practical problems. Like, it takes so long to compile my program, or I go into work and I'm just depressed by the prospect of having to work on this thing, or I don't understand my program. I mean, you know, when people propose their idea for a new programming language, um, it's intended to solve problems like that. And then what I saw was year after year of a certain, um, let's call it paradigm of thought of what's a good programming language was producing all these languages. Um, and none of those languages seem to address the world that I lived in, which is I want to make high quality software with high efficiency per programmer. So not like giant, giant teams, but like three or four people programming something that millions of people are going to use and enjoy. And so I just have been designing it to, um, to address the reality that I perceive and that I live in. The reason to use Jai is you want to write really fast code and you want to be very productive doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes. Um, you know, but we can go into a bunch of other things, right? Um, so, so part of it is, is a little bit reactionary, I would almost say, to assumptions that very few people question that affect all other programming languages, which is why I looked around and I was like, I want to rip, I had been programming in C++ before this. Yes. Uh, and, you know, right. I pressed pause around C++ 11. I don't really use any features from after yeah. that. But, but even so, it's not, it's got a bunch of problems. Yeah. But, I, you know, I look around at everything else in the world and it's like, okay, this language has a bunch of problems, but it's still the best option. And why is that? And it's because everybody's off in other spaces doing other things. And so I was like, okay, wait, let's go back to this model of language, but let's actually um, do what, what we know is better than this C++ yeah. thing, right? And there's, lot, there's an unending list of things that you could do better. One of these unquestioned assumptions, right, is that the development of software is some grand endeavor in which we all participate and we're building some giant tower into the heavens right, that gets ever taller and there's ever more layers in this software stack. Enterprise software development. And that's a great yes. thing. And, you know, you shouldn't write left pad yourself. You should use something provided yep. by somebody on NPM and all this. And, um, but that goes counter to everything that I understand and, and believe in. Like, what I feel good about code when there's not very much code. When I look at it and it's, it doesn't, uh, send me into convulsions just, you know, aesthetically looking at it. would be most of modern enterprise code. Yeah, well, and when I can read it and understand it. And most languages seem to be designed according to some idea where that's just off the table now. Right? Yeah. And so...